On the western side of the rock is a very nice large well. Once again, they put the well at the base of the rock to take advantage of the natural water catchment area. And this well is one of the best I've ever seen. Now this well would have a diameter of three or four meters and a depth of, whew, I don't know, maybe, maybe 10 meters. It is a beauty. So we're just passing through Bruce Rock and of course there's a rock at Bruce Rock and at Bruce's Rock there is another Pioneer Well. Now this one's a square design on the top outside and round on the inside. Another very nice well. So once again we can see the well has been established in the valley of the rock forming a natural catchment area and the presence of all that vegetation indicates water. It turns out there's uh, the one well here, plus another one over there, and, and also a very old one over there, so let's take a closer look. Carolyn Rocks and we've been told that there are three wells here. Now Carolyn Rocks is north northwestish of Westonia where we stayed last night. Very nice town. So let's have a look for these wells. There's a bit of white dirt here which looks unnatural so let's go this way. So Carolyn Rock is just there and what we've been finding is the wells are usually at the base of the rock and here is one right here. A well, a dam, quite large, um, right at the base of the rock. There's supposed to be three here, so we'll keep looking. We'll go up to the rock and take it from there. Right, so the water runs down the rock, up to the low wall that they have made, and it's steering the water that direction. So the nice rock drain heading in this direction. So, oh look, here's a magnificent well. This is an absolute beauty. And just before the well, there's a, a, a bit of a hole that is designed to filter the water. Yeah, I'm not sure. Alongside the main well, there is a circle of rocks now, my guess it was a tank stand. It could be a filled in well, but I doubt it very much unless someone tried really hard to fill it in. So we're not sure where the third well is, unless that is it. So, don't really know. One thing about making wells using rocks is lots of rocks are required. And one of the jobs of the workers is to go and collect all the rocks. Put them in a pile and then make the wells and this looks like the rock pile and there's a few spares. We've walked up the rock and here's a standard survey mark. It is Jackson 18. The survey marks have the name of the 250th hour map sheet so we'd be on the Jackson map sheet here and that was Jackson 18. Back in the early days the explorers and surveyors favoured hills and rocks, easy to find, and you can sight from one hill to the next, do some angles, triangulation, create a map, but we won't go into that. Well, this is Boudalon Soak, or now Boudalon Well, about 5 k's west of Westonia. 
one of the wells established by Charles Hunt in the 1860s. He was engaged by the government at the time. He was a surveyor explorer and his job was to establish a path with strategically placed water between York and Hampton Plains or the Kalgoorlie area. And this is well number 10. He established around 23 of these wells, soaks or water holes. And it became the main path for the early explorers, travellers, prospectors, sandalwood hunters and service the gold rush days um, amazingly well. The well is only maybe two and a half metres diameter and a, a depth of somewhere around two and a half metres and currently it is a dry well. Well thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the show and please like, share and subscribe.